this is Stace. She fell in love with Ty. After getting together, the pair started exploring in the bedroom. Ty and I have a, a bit of a shared kink. Well, it's, it's adult content. We really enjoy people watching us be intimate. Without judgment. However, their unconventional content has perplexed friends and family. My family were worried that I was getting forced into it from Ty. That kind of sense of joke turned into, mm, what's the word, uh, apprehension, fear. We're good to go. Let's have some fun, shall we? Oh, most definitely. I'm Stace, and this is my boyfriend Ty, and we love getting intimate while people watch us. We love practicing making babies, but we are careful not to get the end result. Friggin' love it. We're freaks. We've been together officially for just over a year, and we had known each other eight years in total. There was initial physical attraction, but we were actually both with separate partners at the time. Years went by, and then I saw Stace pop up on my Instagram feed, and they're like, damn, she's still hot. <laughs> <laughs> I slid in the DMs. You did. And it works, because look, we're here. <laughs> I am a female development coach, so I actually look after women and specialise in helping them with body confidence and sexual intimacy. I also do OnlyFans with my partner. So, why we decided to do OnlyFans? To be honest, it's because we have a kink. We genuinely love to be watched being intimate, having It's our thing. Started as a bit of a joke, like, oh, we should do OnlyFans. And then I think a day later I said, are you actually serious about that? We were actually already filming content, so it kind of felt natural for us to start OnlyFans. We decided to to try it out and it took off pretty quickly. To film one with the intention that it was going on OnlyFans? No, there was no reservations. And it kind of built the kink a little bit more. I was quite nervous to tell my family about OnlyFans. I didn't want them to hear it from someone else. So I had that conversation pretty early on. My family were worried that I was getting forced into it from Ty. It's the first that they had heard of it. Obviously I don't talk about my kinks with my family. They took a while to get used to it. They're still getting used to it. They're still coming around to it. I'll get you a 10. When we first started our relationship, everyone was all for it. Three, two, one, up. And then suddenly we've started up OnlyFans. It's like, okay, is this a joke? When I told my friends, most of them were really supportive. I got high fives. A couple though, they were concerned about my reputation. Okay, so it was different in the fact that we knew now it's not only us watching it, it's whoever wants to access it. You know what? That's a hell of a turn on. I am sure, 99% sure, that people I know have seen our content. I don't know, I think some- Maybe yours. I think some Maybe yours. might subscribe to just be interested to see what it is. Yeah, just setting up for a scene. So we're just setting up the lights first because we want all our content well lit so everybody can enjoy it. So we have a free account which has uh, four and a half thousand people and we have a paid a VIP account which has nearly 500 people. So in total there's nearly 5,000 subscribers. This gives us a platform to be watched by a hell of a lot of people. There's always concern when you're doing something that is unconventional. We're putting ourselves out there in a way that a lot of people like to keep themselves private. But when I looked at it from the standpoint of this is a part of who I am and I'm confident in who I am, then that took away all the nerves. Okay, I'm ready to shoot. All right, babe, I think we are good to go. Are you ready, babe? Yes. Fun, shall we? Oh, most definitely. One, two, two three. <laughs> Oh, no, no, it work. Thanks. So what now? Um, so we're back answering questions and comments that we get on our videos. Okay, so the first one is, we've been sharing our relationship online, as in, in OnlyFans, for eight months now. Initially, when we're getting a lot of judgment online, it would cut deep, it would. A lot of people online will say that I'm just a number or I'm on rotation. How can our relationship be serious if we're sharing our intimate parts with the world? He's probably getting his fair share on the side. So it's all about... Is there really that tone that uh, I'm not taking you seriously? Yeah, it? you being happy doesn't mean that it's not sad. Despite the fact that we're happy. Yeah. Yeah, okay. Come back when you're married to him, recreational use by him. Cool, thanks. When I first read these, it did hit. It was quite upsetting because it makes me feel like people think that I'm not good enough for Ty. There's a perception that because we're doing this, He's the one that's kind of like, oh, this is just a joke. I'm just going to do this and then move on. And then when you get the same types of comments again mm. and again and again, you know, mm. it hits you again and again. The judgment makes me feel, I mean, somewhat quite defensive, but mm. 
more recently, I've just learned to kind of let it go. Judgment from others means very, very little. We're doing this because we enjoy it. We're doing this because we have a kink. We are jumping on a call with my mate Joe. He's my training partner at the moment. Um, it's Jim Bros. He had a lot of reservations when he first learned we were doing OnlyFans. It was quite a... Shock. Shock. How did you feel when you first heard that we were doing OnlyFans? Um, you didn't think it was real. <laughs> I just kept thinking, okay, well, this is clearly a joke. <laughs> the more you showed what you guys were doing was real and legit, that kind of sense turned into... Mm, what's the word? Uh, apprehension? Fear? You're this very well-known fitness guy, coach, internationally. How that would affect your professional career down the line? You were coming from a place of, you know, place of heart. And I remember when we first started, it's like, dude, what, what, what is it? Why are you doing it? Is it the money? What are you doing? And it's like, no, man, I'm, I'm into it. Trying to explain to you is like, we have a kink of being watched. This is the platform we're using. And I think you finally, you finally come around to that. <laughs> Probably as of uh, maybe last week. <laughs> so have we changed your mind about what like OnlyFans is and people doing it? Okay, that's a big question. On a whole, I still have some reservations about OnlyFans in general, but you're going at it almost from an educational standpoint. I think you guys are a vanguard of something bigger and more revolutionary for the platform. Have we converted you enough that you would contemplate starting your own? Probably 10 lifetimes from now. <laughs> okay, gotcha, gotcha, we'll hit you up then. <laughs> a lot of our subscribers are actually females. We have that passion between us, which I guess appeals to a female crowd. I mean, we're a genuine couple who are very in love with each other. So it's very passionate, it's very intimate. Do you like my outfit? Yep. Because it's my outfit. It's our outfit. Isn't it cute? Okay. I think we're stronger than a lot of couples mm. who fall into the conventional box. Yeah, well, there's a lot of people who want to explore that kind of side of them that don't get the opportunity to, and that's when they feel they're not getting what they want from the relationship. Or that's they right. feel like they're having to hide parts of themselves. We actually get a hell of a lot of love and support in OnlyFans. A lot of the time they are from women who are there with their partners, but it is women messaging us. Um, this one says, thank you. I'm so grateful for you talking about sex and intimacy in relationships because the more we talk about it, the more we normalize it. I dream of a relationship like yours. Uh, we're having the most that we've ever had. Um, we love watching your videos together and our lives are way more active. So thank you. That feels good. Yeah, it feels real good. You don't have to agree with what we do. You're not in our relationship. We haven't asked for anyone's opinion and no one else's opinion really matters. I never thought a love or relationship like this existed. Makes me feel like that we're kind of unstoppable together. We are. Hmm. Deep diving into sexual fantasies, it takes vulnerability and trust. And now you do that on scale out to for thousands of people to watch, you gotta have each other's backs. And you can find more advice in our OnlyFans. <laughs> Where we actually deliver this naked. <laughs> mm. I'm hungry. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but you are.